track weather with meteorologist Blaze Keller. We're getting ready for potentially our next round of severe weather. And as I mentioned earlier, but I'll mention it again, it's conditional. We have the ingredients. They're going to come together here, but we need to make sure that we're putting them in at the right time and letting them bake, if you will, for the right time as well to maybe get that severe weather. If we've ever baked a cake and we follow the recipe, but still the cake doesn't turn out right, that's kind of what conditional severe weather means. And so that's what we're seeing right now as a low pressure system kind of sits just off to our west here over South Dakota, prompting a few tornado warnings in parts of Minnesota, western parts of Minnesota. Off to our south, we find a tornado watch as well as a tornado warning in parts of Missouri. We're quiet here in Wisconsin, watching as some shower and thunderstorm activity is moving into maybe the Eau Claire area. We could see that move its way farther south, but the models don't also have a good kind of grasp on what could unfold here over the next couple of hours because again, it's conditional. If we get thunderstorms to develop, I would say in this area, we may see that move into parts of southern Wisconsin, which is why we have that slight and marginal risk for severe weather along this stationary front. But if we don't see those thunderstorms go, we could go into this evening on the quiet side and maybe see severe weather to end the weekend. So we'll track that out in future track here in just a moment. But the setup is this. We got 50s towards Stevens point low 60s across central parts of southern Wisconsin and then we see these 70s popping up in Janesville Monroe even into Platteville Mineral Point kind of closing in as well so we've got the warmth here we've got some dew points flirting with the 60s so we've got moisture and we have a little bit of energy too this is the area where I said we've got the ingredients we're going to put the cake in the oven and we'll see if around 10 11 o'clock tonight we get a good cake, the severe weather. If not, we have the ingredients and we'll try it again tomorrow. There's that thunderstorm activity moving into, say, the Eau Claire area, a line of thunderstorms, not severe though, quiet across southern Wisconsin, maybe seeing some sunshine here as we begin to kind of wrap up the day. Future track again, because we don't really know if we're going to see storms tonight, it doesn't have a good grasp. We may see stuff move in from Iowa overnight into Sunday morning. That would be the first round of severe weather. That clears up and we potentially see another round to end Sunday going into Monday. Here's a look at the environment in terms of severe thunderstorm composite, supercell composite. Not necessarily going to say that we'll see thunderstorms, but this is when the environment is going to be ripe for those severe thunderstorms. We're looking at 11 o'clock tonight, kind of seeing a lot of that yellow across southern Wisconsin, midnight, 2 a.m., and then it starts to break down. So if we do have any thunderstorms from uh, 10, 11 o'clock tonight through the early morning hours on Sunday, they could have that potential for severe weather. And we're talking maybe an isolated weak tornado threat, but mainly wind and hail as we go into the overnight hours, especially hail as we see kind of those black, hatched lines, which just adds an increased threat. And then there's that severe weather potential for your Sunday as well. So we'll keep you guys updated again. This is a big area of low pressure that's kind of slowly moving its way through the region, not only tonight, but into Sunday as well. So Caroline, we of course will be monitoring things behind the scenes after the six o'clock wraps up and hopefully by 10 o'clock we'll know if overnight we're going to see that threat, but we'll go into the upper 70s maybe tomorrow 60s on Monday with a better chance for kind of all day rain and thunderstorms. Those won't be severe and then we quiet down and kind of get back to the mid 70s Looks into like next week. Late next week is going to be really pretty outside. Yes, it is oh, about five to nice. 10 degrees warmer than average, so we'll take it That's as we <laughs> hey, May. I will take that as opposed to what we started the month with. with and remember, much cooler she weather. likes snow. So I love winter and I her. love snow, but it's May. It's time for summer now. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. All right. Well, Luke Gamble's here now to talk about the Packers' important task at hand this offseason. That's right.